New at 5, Fort Collins police investigating a confrontational arrest recorded by cell phone late Saturday night. And that video, which is posted on YouTube, appears to show an officer shoving a man who was later issued a summons. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez digging into the story. And Lance, you spoke with the police chief earlier this afternoon. Mike, that chief told me that he's concerned about the video, but he doesn't want anyone jumping to conclusions. He says the officers involved initially made contact with three young men right here late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, after the owner of a bicycle taxi cab told them the three young men damaged one of his bikes. It is my understanding that they were asked uh, repeatedly to step back. Step back! Fort Collins Police Chief John Hutto says he can't go into detail about the investigation because it's just getting underway. He says he knows that some people will look at the video and think the officer shoved the man for no reason. I think anytime you see an event uh, like this, and you can only see a small percentage of it, um, it, it, it obviously raises questions. But Hutto says the video was only one minute, six seconds long. Under arrest. Under arrest. The entire encounter lasted 17 to 20 minutes. He said investigators will try to acquire the raw video and will contact independent third party witnesses to complete their investigation. The outcome of which uh, will, will be uh, the appropriate discipline if, if any discipline is necessary. And we'll, uh, we'll make sure that the, uh, the incident is investigated completely. Hutto says that on weekend nights, officers make hundreds of contacts when patrolling the popular Old Town District. The force that they use, the expectation is that it's in direct response and a, a measured direct response to the, uh, the issue they're dealing with. There's no need for my ID, dude. The chief wouldn't say what role, if any, alcohol played in the confrontation. When I asked if the pedicab was intentionally or accidentally damaged, he said to his knowledge, it didn't appear to be intentional. Now, the chief says that investigators will determine if officers Kyle Benza and Dan Callahan followed department policy. They're still on the job. The three young men were cited. Matt Heffron for criminal mischief and obstructing a police officer, Josh Cullop for interference, and Jarvis Gallot for instructing a, or obstructing a police officer. I spoke briefly on the phone with Matt Heffron. He's the young man you saw in that video. He told me he is refraining from comment on the advice of his attorney. In Fort Collins, Lance Hernandez, 7 News. All right, Lance, thanks very much. And the chief says he doesn't know how long the investigation is going to last. He does say the three men were not arrested. They were issued citations, and then they were released.